Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this is my last video I'm making for the night because I'm gonna save my conversation about Silent Hill or Return to Silent Hill, the movie with uh, you know, storyboard art that we got and all the progress they're making on the movie so far. We'll get into that in the next episode. Uh, but for this one, I wanted to wrap up the video games that they announced because we got four video games. And it's funny because uh, Silent Hill Network uh, or Survival Horror Network is a YouTube channel that I love. Uh, they just post streams with mostly no commentary of them just playing through Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and other, you know, survival horror games. And they posted this thing about the transmission coming up. Like, oh my God, what do you think we're going to get? And I did the whole like marriage thing. I was like, I was like, I think we're going to get something new, something old, something borrowed, and something blue. And I was like, how funny that I listed four things and we get four games. Uh, pretty amazing. And we did kind of get, uh, so we're getting the borrowed concept of psychological horror from Silent Hill 2. We're getting a new version of Silent Hill 2 uh, and also new games as well. Uh, we're getting, oh, it's a old game, Silent Hill 2, and we're getting it made into a movie. Um, and then we're getting something blue. Uh, I don't know if that applies at all, uh, but uh, maybe one of these games will make us very sad. <laughs> Uh, so Silent Hill F though, this one sounds really intriguing to me because it sounds different so far. Now the person who's making this game, uh, Ryukishi 07, is known for doing uh, great visual novels, uh, creating visual novels um, and that deal with psychological horror and mysteries and things like that. So in this storyline, I guess we're going to get a Silent Hill that may not be actually in Silent Hill. Or it could be like an alternate universe uh, where Silent Hill is um, in Japan. <laughs> or I don't know. It's, it's apparently set in the 1960s. If you go read the bio on the uh, YouTube episode, the teaser trailer, which I'll put a link to down below. Um, this, like the bio says that it's you follow a young woman, uh, you know, in Silent Hill uh, or in, uh, in 1960s Japan. But it's somehow tied to Silent Hill. And you see in the trailer like these like, this like, I don't know, roots and plants that are alive, that are like infecting her and infecting the city that she lives in, the town that she's in. Um, and it's there's a scene where you see her or, or some character dragging like a pipe on the ground, which is very Silent Hill. You know, a lot of times you ha are playing as characters that don't know how to do combat. You know, they're not like fighters in real life. They're not trained fighters. So their combat is kind of sloppy. Um, so they just pick up things around them to like defend themselves with. I always like that about Silent Hill. I uh, thought, you know, and I hope with the Silent Hill 2 remake, they don't try to improve the combat system too much. Like, obviously you want to modernize it, but I don't I don't want James to know how to do a roundhouse kick. <laughs> you know, he's not Leon S. Kennedy. Um, he's James Sunderland. He's just a dude. So, uh, so I hope he's clunky when he swings, you know, the, the boards with nails in them and stuff that he finds. And in this one, I hope the same thing. So... I don't know if it is a play novel, what this, if this is going to be a mobile thing. I imagine because Konami loves doing mobile stuff and pachinko machines and all this. I figured they would try to squeeze it in somewhere because, you know, I just, I'm blown away that Konami has committed to four new games or three new games in a remake of Silent Hill 2 and a film. I'm just kind of blown away that they put that much into this franchise because I honestly believed, and I think a lot of us did, I think we believed that they were giving up. On Silent Hill. Um, I knew they would probably do something every like five to ten years to keep the, the license, you know, so they could say they still own it. But I never expected them to just go, you know what, let's let's just go, let's do this. Let's let's invest money and reach out to companies and make more Silent Hill stuff. And to have merch out there and stuff too. I'm like, I just didn't see this coming at all. And I'm even if none of these games, even if I don't like a single one of them. I'm just impressed on some level that someone at Konami said okay to all of this. And I'm, I'm so glad they did. I'm really am uh, because I, I was ready to just forget about Silent Hill and I'm so happy that I, I don't have to. It's uh and I guess I didn't have to before, but I just, I didn't have access. I don't have old consoles. I, I, you know, I guess I could always go buy one maybe, but um you know, a lot of stuff gets expensive now. <laughs> it's just a little out of my price range to to buy a PlayStation One and play in Silent Hill One because some people want to charge you like two, three hundred bucks for the game. Um, and uh, not that it's not worth it. It's just like you know, I don't have the money to do stuff like that. Uh, so 
yeah, I just, I'm, I'm just so happy we're going to get new Silent Hill content. And that is something potentially for this channel, which is great. I could still keep my Twitch channel alive as these games come out and play them. And then I could you know, archive that footage here and we can do Silent Hill episodes. And then obviously the movie's coming up. So we'll talk about the production of the movie. So it's great. It's, it's for me, it's, it's awesome because it, it's a passion of mine to play in this world. And even, like I said, some of the games people don't like, like Homecoming and stuff in the room, I like those games. Like I don't love Homecoming, but I have defended it before, you know, not, not aggressively though. If people hate it that much, I'm like, that's cool, man. Downpour. I, I, you know, when people attack that game, I'm like, that's fine. I mean, I liked playing it, but I didn't love that game at all. I don't even know if I like that game at all. Um, it's so cliche and, and, and boring on a lot of levels and they don't really do anything interesting with uh, the concept that they seem to want to keep going with, which is the concept of Silent Hill 2, where the town has an effect on you, and it, it, if you have sinned or done something bad, it brings you to it and feeds off of it. And, and while it's feeding off of it, you're manifesting these creatures that you see um, into reality on some level. So uh, I don't I don't know. So Silent Hill F being in Japan in the 1960s, I mean, that's not that there's a timeline for Silent Hill, but I believe that's before Silent Hill 1 uh, even you know took place. So... Uh, and maybe even before Origins, uh, too. So to be set in the 1960s, I'm, I'm really curious. Is this potentially the origin of the evil that ends up in Silent Hill? Um, are they going to go that route with it? Uh, I'm, I'm really curious. And that's really all the speculation I have. Because out of all the games, this is the least amount of information we got. Because we don't know... Really, we don't know what any systems these games are going to be on. We don't have release dates. Uh, all we have is for Ascension, it's coming out in 2023. But that could be February of 2023. That could be October of 2023. Like, we have no idea uh, when that is. Uh, but this one, we know nothing about. I don't know if it's a play novel. I don't know if it's a game. I don't know if it's on mobile. I don't know if it's on exclusive to Switch. Like, I have no idea what this one is, other than the setting and what we saw in the trailer. But that was enough to at least intrigue me because it looked different. Uh, I was just like, ah, thank you. Like it looks different and you get to play as a female protagonist, uh, I guess. Um, and that has only been done in Silent Hill. Well, I guess three. And then I guess the dungeon crawler one, you could have picked a female character. Um, and then born from a wish, uh, as Maria in Silent Hill two, but that was like a short game. So it's just, it's cool to see like a, just really a different approach to Silent Hill, a different setting. And, Hey, you know, Henry Townsend lived in South Ashfield and he was able through a hole in the wall to end up in like a, in Silent Hill, I guess. Um, so I, I wonder how Silent Hill is connected to this part of Japan. And I, I hope we find out and I hope it's satisfying. I hope it's cool. So anyway, let me know what your speculation is on Silent Hill F down in the comments below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. And like I said, in the next episode, stay subscribed to this channel. And in the next episode, we'll get into really what this channel, or this show is going to be about, which is the Return to Silent Hill movie. I don't have a ton of faith in it, to be honest with you. Um, I, you know, I was a little hopeful, optimistic for Ra Return to Raccoon City or whatever, you know, that movie was called Welcome to Raccoon City. And I was like defending it on some level on some of the trailers, hoping it would still be at least a decent B horror movie. And that movie was so bad. So this one I have low expectations for because I, I think the first movie was directed well, but it wasn't written well and it had a terrible story um, that fell apart completely by the end. And it brought in a couple cool elements, but some elements that shouldn't have been there like Pyramid Head. So apparently Pyramid Head's coming back and we'll talk more about that in the next episode when we dive into the movie, which I'm going to record another night because four episodes at once is good enough. So I'll get these up as quickly as I can to you um, so that we have content on this channel again. And then we will talk about the merchandise in an upcoming episode. We'll talk about the movie. And then if any other new information comes out between now and then, I'll cover it as well. And then we, we might even dive into some of the comic books because I have those. And then we'll also start beginning our dissection of Silent Hill Homecoming. Um, because like I said, I played through that recently and I have all the footage in like little bits, you know, uh, so I have all that and I will share kind of my thoughts of Silent Hill Homecoming, but over the course of a, like a dozen videos. So we'll like, I'll take like the first hour of the game or first half hour of the game and we'll just break that down and talk about that. And we'll do that for like every chunk of the game until we get through the whole thing. So it'll be more of like a, 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 a you know, analyzing the game in a way, but also giving you my opinions on why I've defended that game before against hardcore fans that hate that game. 
Um, and it's not to start any fights or arguments. I just, I see that game a little differently, I think, than some people. Doesn't mean the way I see it is right. It's just sometimes we project or we, you know, we look, we look into it in a different way than other people do. And I, I, I guess it was because I played that game so many times post aneurysm that I maybe have a connection to it on that level. So we'll get into homecoming at some point as well. So thank you so much for watching the show as always. And of course, we'll talk about the other Silent Hill games. I'm not going to exclude any of them, but we'll probably just make one or two videos on each of those games. But we'll, we'll probably make multiple videos on Silent Hill Homecoming just because I felt like that was that came out at the, the point that the franchise either could have been saved or began its decline. And unfortunately, it started the decline of, of that franchise in a major way. And so I think that's why it's so interesting to talk about, at least in my opinion. So we're going to get into that too. So let me know again your comments on Silent Hill F and anything else we talked about in this episode down below. And we'll keep talking down there. And, and we'll have more episodes coming up to you very soon. And if you have a name idea for this show, let me know down below. Hopefully I've come up with one by now, uh, by the time this airs but uh, or uploads. But in case I don't, you know, feel free to throw some at me. So thank you so much. See you in Silent Hill. Peace.